Just a minute, I'll, uh, I'll just turn on the light. Yeah, is that better? Can you see me now? Good. Now, I'm going to try and speak as loudly as I possibly can, but Cassie's still asleep, and she's been having problems sleeping lately, so I don't want to wake her. But the pills seem to be doing the trick. You see, it's our anniversary tomorrow, and I want her to have a really good night's sleep. Oh, actually, it's today, our one-month anniversary. I can't believe we've only known each other for a month. It seems like we've known each other forever. But when you're in love, time has no meaning, I guess. Lilac, one of her favorites. How did we meet? Well, <laughs> actually, that's quite a funny story, really. You see, um, Cassie was working at my local hospital as a nurse in casualty, and I limped in with a suspected broken foot. She was so nice to me, helped me get my damaged foot out of my sock, which was really very painful. But of course, I didn't say a word. She was so gentle when she touched my foot. It sent a shiver up my spine. She thought it was from the shock and she went and got me a cup of tea and a hobnob biscuit. <laughs> She's so caring and considerate. Well, fortunately my foot wasn't broken after all, but it could have been. It was a, a rather nasty tumble that I took from the ladder. However, Cassie said I was very brave anyway. She smelt of tropical flowers. And I'd never smelled anything so tantalizing and erotic. And she leant over and she patted me on the shoulder. And I could see her golden breasts heave in those blue scrubs. She wanted me badly. The connection was instant and electric. Ah, there it is. Tropical bliss. And after that, we met up a couple of times at my local Tesco's and we had some great little chats. Unfortunately, though, she was always in a rush. She had worked long hours as a nurse. So we decided to skip the wooing process, you know, candlelit dinners, expensive theatre trips long romantic walks in the park and just meet up at her place after work. You know, I don't mind. You see, when you're in love, you have to learn to respect and understand the needs of your partner. Anyway, it was a good job I came round because about a month ago, poor Cassie had to call the police. Hmm. She thought she had an intruder. It seems that someone had broken into the flat and had started to move things around. Nothing got damaged or broken, so the police weren't really interested, but fortunately she had me to come round and protect her. I like to swing round a couple of times a week just to check on the flat and to make sure that she's safe. The flat's quite easy to check out, really. It's what an estate agent would call a bijou residence. But it's ideal for us, anyway. And I just love being around her and her things. What do you think? A rose for a rose. I know it's a cliché, but what can I say? I'm just an old romantic at heart. Well, well. It's dawn already. How the time flies. 
I should be going soon. Just pop that in there and then I better be quickly going. You see, the sleeping tablets will wear off soon. And uh, I don't want her to wake her up and find me here. Because what's the point in having a secret boyfriend if she knows who I am? That's enough.